In the previous video, we looked at going from this frequency table to this frequency diagram. And I showed you how to go from there to there drawing it. Now I'm going to introduce the frequency polygon. The frequency polygon um, is a way that allows us to compare two sets of data, continuous data like this. So, for example, I might be looking at the heights of students in one class or in one year group, for example, and then I might want to compare that with the heights of students in another year group. And we could use a dual bar chart to do that, um, but preferably we would more like to use a frequency polygon. So the frequency polygon looks something like this. It uses the midpoints of the groups and effectively the midpoints of the tops of the bars. Okay, And then you can draw and join those together. Notice I'm using a ruler that now, okay, rather than before. Okay, so it's the line that has been drawn that is the frequency polygon. And really, you need to be able to draw this without the bars actually being there. But I wanted to make sure that I drew the polygon over the top of the bars to show you how they are linked. The points go through the midpoints. So really, if you are asked to draw a frequency polygon rather than a frequency diagram, we don't want the bars to be there. So if I start from scratch, then you're looking at the midpoint is 105 and you're at 10. So 105 at 10, make a cross. 115 at 5, make a cross, 125 at 20, so it's about there, make a cross, 135 to 25, so 135, 25, make a cross, and then 140 to, 140 to 150 by 145, up at 30, so something like that. And then join your points. Didn't do that one very well. And that is the frequency polygon that you're looking for. Now the reason why I said that it's best to compare is that then if I had another group's data, then I can overlay one with the other. So I could look at another set of data that actually was something like this. And with the two sets of data, one on top of the other, it is then much easier for me to compare what the two pieces of data are looking for. So, you might be asked to draw another frequency polygon on top of an already drawn graph, okay, in order for you to then compare the two. So that is how they are drawn, and that is their link to frequency diagrams.